Did you know that one essential nutrient could be the game changer in how you feel, how you look and how you perform every day regardless of your age? Yes, I am talking about protein. But why is it so crucial for us? And especially if you are a vegetarian, what are your top go-to sources for protein? Stay tuned as I am going to dive deep into the remarkable world of proteins, how much of protein we need on a day-to-day -day basis for maintaining a good health and what happens to our health if we don't get enough of protein or if we go overboard with protein. Hi, this is Meghlata Dasai. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification when I release a video on health related topics. Now let's start with the basics. Protein is often called as the building blocks of life. And why it's called so? Sure for good reason, right? Let's see what it is. It's crucial for muscle repair, hormonal function and it even supports a healthy immune system. But wait, its role doesn't end there. Infants need it as they grow at an incredible rate. Adults need it for maintaining their body and health. And the seniors need it to preserve their muscle mass as they lose their muscles, uh, muscle mass as the age progresses, right? So protein is so, so essential for humans across all age groups. Now let's get a bit more specific, okay? What exactly does protein do for us? For starters, it helps in tissue repair and muscle growth. Think of it like the repairman of your body, fixing and building wherever necessary. It also plays a significant role in hormone regulation. Hormones are your body chemical messengers and protein contributes to their production. This includes crucial ones like insulin, which regulates blood sugar and growth hormones. The top five vegetarian protein sources are First up, lentils. Some of the commonly used lentils in Indian kitchen are black gram, green gram, pigeon peas, red lentils, Bengal gram, green, pre, green peas, different varieties of chickpeas, red kidney beans, to name a few here. These are packed with proteins and they are also great source of iron and fiber. Next we have Greek yogurt. They are not only rich in protein but also a good source of probiotic for your good good gut health. Then there's quinoa, a complete protein containing all nine essential amino acids that are required for our body. And let's not forget about tofu which is derived from soya beans and cottage cheese or commonly called in India as paneer derived from milk or brimming with protein. Lastly, chia seeds which can be easily added to smoothies, yogurts or oatmeal for that protein boost. Other nuts like groundnuts, almonds and so on and other seeds are also rich in protein. Now on to the golden question. Okay, we understand protein is good for us but how much protein is good for us? How much should we consume? Let's see. The quantity of course varies depending on your age, gender and level of your activity. But a general guideline for adults is 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of your body weight. That is to say, if your body weight is say 70 kgs, your total requirement of protein is roughly 56 grams to 60 grams per day. However, if you are an active person or if you are an elderly person or if you do heavy workout in gym, you might need more of protein to maintain muscle mass. In such cases, it's advisable to take the advice of your nutritionist to understand your need. Okay, But what do you think will happen to us if we don't consume enough protein? Protein deficiency can lead to muscle wasting, weakened immunity and even hair loss. Since muscles contribute to the metabolic rate, a decrease in muscle mass can lower the basal metabolic rate, making it more challenging to maintain or lose weight. Protein plays a role in glucose metabolism and inadequate protein intake may contribute to insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a key factor in the development of metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions that increase the risk of heart disease, diabetes and stroke. Proper protein intake can help regulate blood sugar levels and support insulin sensitivity. 
proteins are involved in the synthesis and regulation of hormones hormones play a crucial role in various body functions including metabolism mood and reproductive health insufficient protein intake may disrupt the balance of hormones potentially leading to imbalances that can affect energy levels mood and overall well-being protein intake influences the hormones leptin and ghrelin which are involved in appetite regulation a lack of protein may impact the body's ability to signal satiety such satiety is a sense of feeling full in your stomach and control appetite potentially leading to overeating and weight gain factors that can contribute to metabolic syndrome adequate protein is crucial for the production and conversion of thyroid hormones which play a role in regulating metabolism thyroid hormones influence the body's energy expenditure and disruption in their synthesis can impact metabolic function on the flip side excessive protein intake especially from animal sources comes with its own risks such as kidney strain and increased cancer risk interestingly not everyone should consume high level of proteins individuals with certain kidney diseases or those with allergies to specific protein sources need to be really cautious before consuming protein individuals with pre existing kidney condition should consult their healthcare provider regarding their protein intake always seek personalized advice if you have specific health concerns so to summarize protein is an indispensable part of our diet crucial for everyone from the youngest to the eldest So choosing the right sources and consuming the appropriate amount is key to a healthy life. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and comment below with your favorite vegetarian protein sources. You may also feel free to raise your queries regarding protein if you have any in the comment box. Your interaction helps me to reach and educate more people. Remember, taking care of your body by providing it with the nutrition it needs is the best investment you can make in your life. Please remember to subscribe to the channel before you leave the video. Until next time, stay healthy and keep thriving. Thanks for watching.